Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames and welcome to another video. This time I'm going to be talking about the ChatGPT utilities. So this is an extension to make ChatGPT write prompts for you inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI. I heard that you want to use GPT-4, so I'm going to give you a trick. If you go into the scripts, um, if you go into, uh, I mean, into this one, it must be this one, the ChatGPT utilities. Uh, you can change this for GPT-4 when once you get your API key, and I heard that it's gonna be the same way it calls the the API, so it must work the same unless they update also the ChatGPT uh, extension. Okay, so we are going to go into the OpenAI uh, website and get the API key, and you create a new one here, and then you can copy that. And let's start uh, first by installing this. We can copy, you need to copy this thing in here. Going to Stable Diffusion Extensions and open a terminal here and paste that in there. It doesn't let me to do because I got I got it already installed. If you press CMD CMD here, you can do the same. You can pass you can paste that and press enter and it will install this the extension for you. And then you just need to go back into your stable diffusion and run start stable diffusion like. I'll be, it'll be a moment and I'll have to wait just a second to, okay, after you get the, the API key, you can paste it here. If you got it, like I told you, and also this thing might be in the available in the extensions by the time I release the video because I, it wasn't here before. So let's go into the text to image and it will be here in your scripts, chat GPT. And then you have some templates to start writing your prompt. Uh, gonna do that in a minute. And then we have like the, the type prompt that it will write. Like you can be more specific, more strict. So it will be like normal. And then you can be creative with dreamy or hallucinating will be a wild prompt. He won't hear too much about your prompt. He will do whatever he likes. And here in the response count, you can just make more API calls for it will generate more images if you put more uh, count here. So let's see six and let's start by making a prompt about a person. And basically give you some, some suggestions here. They're going to make one um, describing. Uh, let me see it so you can uh, read what I wrote. So make a prompt describing a Spider-Man action on a city scene. So basically give us all these uh, prompts that we can start using like Spider-Man shooting west through a bustling city street. That's quite good. Spider-Man leaping off of a side of a skyscraper right ready for action. Amazing. Spider-Man crouching on top of a building surveying the city below. I love it. Spider-Man shooting west through a bustling city street. Yeah, that's the one that I already said. Suspended. Suspended while surveying the busy. Okay. I think I'm going to go for that one that I, that I said. And I'm going to copy it there. And then I'm going to ask another thing like improve the prompt. I'm going to say improve it, make it more interesting with mention aesthetics and on the git it said that you can you can concatenate prompts with this semicolon thing so we can select that and set art by famous
and we say like normal. Maybe here we can put uh, best quality. Piece. So my image is uh, getting destroyed. I need to figure out why. Maybe it's the buy. I think if it's not the buy, might be the clip skip. So I will put one there. I don't know what's happening, maybe. Anyway, I just want to show you what the, the prompts that it's making, like a dynamic splash page featuring a iconic superhero. So it basically is taking that um, aesthetic that I ask is saying like overlooking, vibrant, bustling metropolis. It's making the prompt more interesting. It's adding like the aesthetics that I asked for and it's also adding a dynamic page featuring a uh, superhero. Let's see if it gives an artist to detailed character, Neon City. So it's kind of just getting the first part of the prompt. Maybe I wrote this. I need uh, probably to make this uh, together, perhaps. Colorful design, citing issue. So I can copy this prompt. And paste it here. And use this button there. And here I can put best quality. Uh, yeah, before I go, well, what's um, the device still destroying my, my image at the last step, or I don't know if it's maybe too long of a prompt for this, um, for this uh, thing. But basically, it gave me like Alice Ross photorealistic approach of cases of Spider Man. And here we got Alan Hughes and J. Scott Campbell. More Alex Rose, Jin Lee. Uh, so basically, you can combine those. Okay, I can save that prompt. Okay, change uh, 
um, it changed the subject because I leave ChatGPT open, and you can see here some of the some of the prompts. And I think I solved the by issue. It's not looking like like it's destroyed at the end. So it might be because of just the high res fix. And, or the UniPC, I changed for UniPC here. And now I just gonna get out of the ChatGPT stuff so it doesn't interfere with my my problem. One, one tip here to make this even more interesting is like you can come here and get the style pile. And if you if you go in the style pile and you choose random, random for the direction, random for the colors. You will get some interesting, some interesting keywords here that you can copy and then make even better, make even better prompts from the ones that you get from ChatGPT. That, or you can go to something like Lexa or um, some Civitai also has like good places where you can scrap scrap some prompts. Okay, <coughs> sorry. And CVTI also had some good places. Uh, it's another good place where you can find some good prompts. So that size to four and generate forever. So right click, generate forever. Okay, cancel the generation and I I going to wanna go into ChatGPT and I'm gonna ask it to change the words in the prompt. I'm gonna go with these three words. But otherwise you can write something like in in between yeah, in between these uh, uh, keys, right? And you put Spider-Man, right? You can change the Spider-Man, you can set change something else with this. Maybe so it's a bit faster. We can go with one only and no, better for generate forever. Okay, this is enough of a Spider-Man. I'm gonna finish this one and then I will... Uh, let's wait for this and...
Okay, I cancel generate forever and now I'm gonna change something in the prompt again, but this time I I will go with this. So basically I went and um, asked it, take the prompt and change it the superhero instead of Spider-Man, make Batman, Deadpool, Wonder Woman, Thor, the X-Men, Storm, Superman, etc. Etc, etc. So I say take the prompt and improve it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And improve it and change it for another superhero. Let's see. And with dreamy, with dreamy setting, let's see. Okay, so I went and changed uh, the, the answer precision to normal and then I, I put take the prompt, prompt and change the action and location and change and also change or also also change for another superhero. Let's see how it goes with this uh, prompt. I think uh, next time I'll go I'll do the noising with less uh, so it looks more like my initial picture or save the initial picture anyway thank you for watching and I hope you like this video uh, please let me know if you know a way to prevent that thing with the with the buy and also please uh, subscribe bye bye thanks